as I said before, we are done with our uh, composing, with composing of our image. Uh, we are done with all of the stock images. I add all elements I wanted to. And finally, uh, we get to the point where we have the look, where we have the composition we were looking for. Maybe not, not the look, but the composition. We add all of the stock images we wanted to. Uh, as well, we add some additional effects to make uh, this picture a little bit mysterious. After you finish with your stock images, don't forget to close all the projects with stock images as they might um, make your work a little bit slower, which is not really good. Remember to uh, keep everything clear to make your uh, workflow really uh, clear. Another thing is, after every step, I will remind you this not even once, after every step, save your project. We don't want to lose anything. And trust me, it happened few times to me in the past. And it wasn't really a pleasure, especially when I was working on something uh, bigger. Uh, we don't have control on our computers every time sometime something might happen. So as I said, we have our composition and our next step will be photo filters, photo effects, dodging and burn tool, plugins uh, to make uh, our image looks like we wanted to add this final touch, which is going to make this image uh, special. And um, of course, now as our image looks like one image, the only one step is like regular photo retouching. Now we're going to work only on one image. And I said before about dodging and burn tool, and basically uh, this part should be focused on this, but it will be very quick for you. It was quite long introduction, but I believe uh, it's quite important. As you can see, this image already has uh, quite good contrast. I don't think we need a uh, dodge and burn tool this image. There's only few parts I'd like to add dodge and burn tool. It's the hair. I like to make them a little bit brighter, but I don't want to add dodge on the hands here. I think everything works and looks the way I really like. Mm. I prefer use dodge and burn tool on the face when we're working on um, beauty retouch and this kind of stuff to make eyes face brighten but everything looks uh, in really the way uh, i like on this image so there is no reason to do some kind of complicated uh, dodging and burning as i said on a few parts uh, but i'm going this part for dodging and burning because you might need this in your project so i'm going to say a few words about this every time as you maybe noticed before click create new layer and I'm going to call this layer Dutch and Burn. Of course, we cannot uh, work on the empty layer. We have to add something on this layer. Of course, we can w work on the uh, regular image, on, on the proper uh, image with uh, Dutch and Burn tool. But trust me, it's not good because if you do any mistakes, uh, if you want to change anything later on, you don't have this possibility to so always create new layer and fill this layer with color gray. So click, uh, click edit, fill and choose color gray. The reason why, because um, it just works great because we can change blending mode to overlay or soft light. As I said before, depends with how strong your effect uh, you want. I always use overlay. and it makes this layer invisible and we can do our uh, dodging and burning. I'm going to use dodge tool, but as I said before, I like to use this tool only on the hair part to make them really nice and bright. I use mid uh, range mid tones and exposure very soft, only 20% as I don't want to add too much. Be really careful this to be this and I, I I add a little bit on the hair and when I'm looking on the picture I look it has really nice uh, light contrast I don't see the reason 
why I should uh, change this. But there's few parts I'd like to use a uh, touch tool, a uh, burn tool, I'm sorry. And we can use burn tool to burn some edges to add some, it gives us really ma some nice contrast. But of course, be careful and don't add too many of this. As I said, I consider this picture as a really bright, so we don't have to use uh, too many, uh, too much uh, touch tool, but I don't mind about burn tool. Just a little bit here. And actually it has the look I really want. As you see, small difference and it looks a little bit better and I don't see really the reason why I should use uh, more. So it was very quick part for you and in next parts I'm going to work a little bit on the filters, gradient maps to change um, the colors of this image to get into the colors I'm looking for.